So this is another sort of live test that we're doing uh, to prepare for the HVACR training symposium here in Claremont, Florida, outside of AHR. In order to kind of further test it, I'm gonna just make a video, and the video is gonna be the inside of a scroll compressor. I've heard somebody say the other day, and it's a common thing, that when a scroll compressor is not pumping, they'll say that it's got bad valves. And that actually comes from the old days when you had reciprocating compressors, and we still have a lot of them, so it's not the old days. It's the old days are still now. And you had actual suction and discharge valves. And with suction and discharge valves, because you have a piston that's you know moving in and out, as you have that upstroke, that discharge valve has to open. And if that valve's not present, then when it pulls back down, it will pull back from discharge. And the opposite's also true of, of, uh, of suction. So I wanna show you the difference between that and how a scroll compressor works on the inside. So in a scroll compressor, you have two different scrolls. You have the orbiting scroll, the one that actually moves, and then you have the stationary scroll. scroll. So the one that moves is on the bottom and the stationary scroll is on top, so they fit in like this. And a common mistake that people make is they think that this spins, but it doesn't actually spin, it actually oscillates. So it moves like this, and that is how it compresses. Those two fit together, these seals, these tips kind of seal against each other, and it's all just metal on metal. Uh, there's no like Teflon or uh, any sort of uh, a gasket in there um, to keep it to seal. It's just a metal on metal fit. And that's something that's something that people will notice sometimes when they first start up. When you install a brand new scroll compressor, they can be just a touch noisy for those first couple cycles. And then as they run and the oil kind of moves around in there and creates that seal, um, they'll actually become a little bit quieter. And you can see the wear patterns on here on the inside where it's shiny. That's actually where the metal was rubbing up against each other. But the one thing I wanted to show you here is that there are no traditional valves. There are no typical valves that open and close in different strokes. It's just a continuous motion as it oscillates. But what it does have is it has a discharge check valve in it. So inside here, there's a discharge check valve. And if we listen really carefully, you might be able to hear it. That discharge check valve opening and closing and underneath here that prevents refrigerant on the off cycle from rushing back through the compressor um, if you have one of these that fail you'll actually hear the compressor run backwards in the off cycle you'll hear it kind of make a zzz, sort of a sound and that's a sign that you have an issue with your discharge check valve this matters a couple different for a couple different reasons first off it matters because obviously that you don't want it running backwards if it were to start running backwards and then you uh, reinitialize power during that period when it was running backwards it might keep running backwards and so you'll see that in some cases with short cycling. But then another another thing where this comes up is if you are doing something like flowing nitrogen through a compressor, you do need to move it in the direction of normal refrigerant flow. So you would need to flow through the suction line out through the discharge line uh, in order to allow there to be flow. Because this check valve, it'll open even with very low pressure. It's just that it'll prevent refrigerant from moving the opposite direction. But if you were trying to flow through it moving the opposite direction, it would block it via the check valve there. So that's it. Inside of a scroll compressor, your orbiting scroll on the bottom, the part that actually moves, and then your stationary scroll on top, and it's got that check valve that prevents that backflow of refrigerant. So that's all. Just a quick test using our new setup. Mm -hmm.